Hello everybody, my name is Ilya. And my name is Tyler. Together we make up Kavre, a couple that loves to play uh, board games. And play more board games. And more board games. And all the board games. And more board games. <gasps> Welcome to our first monthly recap. We thought we'd get in the habit of doing some monthly vlogs where we talk about some of the games that we've played, the experiences that we've had, and share a little bit more of us with you. Exactly. It's one of our New Year's resolutions mm -hmm. for Cavre, and for us, we just want to kind of like keep ourselves going at this pace that we that we think is healthy for us, and mm -hmm. we've just enjoyed playing all the games, so why not take this time to share them with you folks? And we love learning about you as well, so part of this is a conversation, so yeah. we can share some of the stuff that we're doing. We'd love to hear what you're doing, some of the games that you're excited to play, that you've played, that you maybe want to cull. Mm -hmm. All sorts of fun conversations like that. But Which that leads us... Give us a rundown of what we're going to do. Exactly. So we kind of explained to what... Uh, blah, 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 blah. We kind of explained why we're doing this video, but what are we going to include in this video? Well, we're going to start by just sharing some stats. No, we're going to talk about the month. How did January go? Our just like the vlog part. Well, we just did that. No, because one time I don't you don't have that on your thing. Yeah, recap of January. That's not the title, that's the section. Why do you have all these arrows <laughs> and then... <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna start off by recapping the month. Talking about our experiences, how we felt, just the general, get to know us a little bit more in the yeah. journeys that we We'll found. do like a mental health check, a physical health check, and then just talk about all of like... What happened in January? Check. <laughs> check, check, check. <laughs> All right, and then, then we're gonna introduce some stats. <laughs> stats. Because that's what we uh, love. Um, some people were actually interested in our like win percentages, I believe. So we might, we're gonna touch on that, wait for that. And then um, we're gonna talk about a couple other things, uh, like our top games, the number of games mm -hmm. we played, ex The uh, yearly goals that we set yeah, about how yeah, we're we'll progressing update, on those. Which is fun. Uh, potentially have the conversation about culling games, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which no, I don't want to have. to have that conversation. I don't want to have that conversation. We're having that conversation. <laughs> and we're gonna tell you about a game that we're looking forward to playing in February. Yes, and then at the end, we'll have a moment to talk about maybe like a top highlight and the top game that we played Ooh. this month. Yep. But without further ado, now that you know what we're going to be talking about, let's, let's get it into it. With a January recap. Yeah, so, mental health check. I was just going to say, January is always a downer for me, and I'm always just not looking forward to it, mainly because it's so cold. Mm -hmm. And then you're past the holiday phase, and then you have to go back to work, so it's always like, eh. But I think this year we got to play so many different games that I've had a lot of fun. I think there's only three or four days in all of January where we didn't play a single board game. Yeah, we got. I think we almost played games lot. every day, and it was a nice way to, because we can't really. Like, it's so cold that even taking the dogs out for a walk is like we're like in and out because like even their like paws don't like yeah. No, our they want to be long. yeah. So it's cold, and I think that's one. I'm really grateful for board games to kind of occupy some of that time. Mm -hmm. So feeling good. I'm very excited. January is over. Yay! <laughs> what about you? Um, I always put a lot of pressure on myself for January because I'm always like, New Year, New Me, let's do this. But like, new year, this new year time. felt a lot different just with like other things that were going on in my life. And then also like with COVID, it just like felt very uh, not like a new year. So I went into it and I had this mindset, I'm just like, I'm just gonna focus on myself, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna be unapologetically me, blah, 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 blah. And I feel like I'm doing that this year, at least I hope I'm doing it this year, a little bit more than I was before, um, but small steps, and that's all I care about. Physical check-in! I was sick for a week yeah. in January. Yeah. Was it COVID? We'll never know. Cause, Cause that's how we our don't province have works. Testing, so, mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. But it, it was crappy, I think I was just in bed for like a week and didn't feel great. Yeah. It also like made me feel bad because I feel like I've always behind on like work and everything. Uh, but now I'm more healthy. I might occasionally cough here and there, but I'm excited to be healthy and have the energy back. Yeah, that's so, awesome. So good. Feeling good. Feeling uh, good. Yeah, I'm also feeling good. I think I slowly started on a workout uh, thing this mm -hmm. month, so we'll try to keep it up. I'm not like super invested in my physical health in that way. I just more I, I just want to wake up and feel good and be able to like 
It's the best part. Lift things naturally and not get weak. <laughs> like shoveling snow, for example. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he threw his back. Yeah. My, like my back hurt so much because there was like all this snow on the ground and it was wet, which made it even heavier. And then it's just like, and then I'm stabbing at the ice. Anyways. I was sick in bed just being like, yeah. uh, and then there's Silent who was like, ah. Me back. <laughs> Me back. So that was January for us. Now let's talk about board games. <laughs> So uh, let's jump into the statistics for the month. Yeah, so we'll jump into win statistics right now. Win statistics. We'll just do it. So the way that we keep track is we keep track of who wins the games, whether or not it's me or Ilya playing both the of games. Us, if it's cooperative. Yeah, if it's a cooperative game or if it's like we're playing with a bunch of other people, maybe they took on the win. But we'll put up a little graph here. Um, wow, committing yeah, us to graphics already? I am, I am, I am. All right. Well, so, what is your percentage? Well, I was going to say, so the, we track our stats on BG stats. Mm -hmm. So like Tyler said, that we, this is winning with different people. So, so some of these games, neither of us have won. Correct. Yeah. And that's so, why there'll be like an other. Yes. Yeah. So Tyler has won 52% of the games that we played in January. I have won. <laughs> 35% of the games that we played in January. All right, fast maths. What does that mean, the others? <laughs> uh, 13%? 13%. But some of these are cooperative as well, so I think that skews it a it, little bit. It does slightly skew it, yeah. So we'll, we'll maybe, I'll look into it a little bit more. To so see maybe if there won't be a graph, but we'll see what, we'll see what it looks like. No, I'm like. going to put the graph up. It's okay. going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah, we'll, we'll start tracking wins a little bit more. I think there's... Um, Tyler's been winning a lot of games in this month. I think more than usual. Yeah, um, I think so. I think we're just think, playing games that I'm like... I, I, I like picked up on pretty quickly, so I... I'm going to blame my them. sick brain. Yeah, that too. That is all we got for the wins. So now we're going to do what we played and how many we played. So we played yes. 51 different 51 games. Different unique games, games mm -hmm. in the month of January. Yep. Then... Out of 51 of those, 31 are new to us games. But so there are games that we haven't, uh, they could have been on our shelf and we just haven't got to. They could have been on the shelf of shame. They could be new acquisitions. They could be games that were taught to us or brought by other friends. Yep. So they're games that we personally have not played before. And, and of all of the games that we played, mm -hmm. we actually got in 76 plays. Out of, so the games that we played the most this month, is Vivid Memories was first, five. we played a lot of, five games of that game. We played quite a bit, really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And then we played Robin Hood, Space Space, Adventures of Robin Hood, Space Space, and Cartographers three times each. Yeah. yeah. So those are our most played games, but we generally play like games like two, two times, one time. Honestly, um, getting in like one of the longer games, for example, that we played like A mm -hmm. Feast for Odin, yeah. like getting that in once uh, just in the month is pretty good. Mm -hmm. yep. That's a that's a pretty big commitment. So, how does this compare to our goals? Hooray! So basically, for those of you who don't know, we are doing a 10 by 10 challenge, and we are doing a um, like Play. achieve total plays over the year. So the reason that we're tracking our plays is mainly because we want to enjoy board games because we don't want to get consumed in the content. So we're just editing videos, taking pictures, and content, content, content. We want to make sure we still... Not that I would ever allow that. We want to make sure we love the games. That's the best part. Yeah, exactly. So we like challenge ourselves to play games, really enjoy what we want. The 10 by 10 really helps us in focusing on games that we love. Or um, games that we want to try games, and play more. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then the 730 plays really kind it's of like big. challenges us to... Um, yeah, put more time into actually just playing games because that's what we love to do. Um, this YouTube channel is just a uh, like our love a letter, secondary, complimentary thing um, no to intended. our love for board games. Yeah, yes. I, I miss that, but yes. <laughs> so okay, so our so ten by ten. Tyler made us I a made ten by ten. By 10. Look how beautiful Ooh. it is. So it's got all of our games that we've we've mentioned in our goal Quick video. Quickly recap now. Paladins, Root, Space Base, Merchants, Go, Rune Imperium, Near, Near and Far, Ecos, Viticulture, Cryo, and Marvel Champions. How did we do? Uh, we played three games of Space Base. We actually did the Shy Pluto campaign. Yeah. It was very fun. So we've played, We've we're not very far in this. We'll get, we'll get, <laughs> we'll maybe get it's only month there. one. It's only month one. We still have 11 to go. Yeah. So okay. let's talk about the progression of the 736 plays. So because we played 76 yeah, over plays. Ten, just over 10%. 
in that the is month. yes, ten point three yeah. percent. So we, we're farther because there's twelve months. Yeah. So we're a little bit. So ahead obviously, of the curve. here's a cute little graph to show us how far we are. <laughs> <laughs> But I think this is expected because in the winter we're probably going to play more yeah, games because exactly. we're indoors more, it's very cold. Mm -hmm. But in the summer I foresee us playing less. Yep. Or unless we, you know, find those perfect camping, hiking games that we can bring. Yeah, yeah, it'll depend. It'll kind of really depend. Yeah. But So so far on track. Mm -hmm. And our last goal was to do a one second a day kind of video for the whole year. Uh, I've been okay at it i think i've missed a couple a few days i think it was because he was sick yeah it's because like, i was sick so but one second a day of Ilya just in bed might not, not be fun. something fun to read but about. i have i have what we played or did that day so i'm gonna have tyler reenact it so no one will even know we missed a couple of days unless you're watching this video <laughs> no one will even <laughs> no know. one's gonna know censored <laughs> <laughs> all right so that's our goal progression and we're pretty happy with it so far yeah so um, let's go in to the wrap-up. Yes. Woo -woo -woo. All right, okay, so out of all the games we played this month, which one was your favorite? That's a tough question. There's a lot of really good ones. Can I say six? No, one. You get one. He gets can, I, one. can I still say one. six? One. <laughs> okay. One. So my one game, if I had to choose, not six, but one, <laughs> I think I would choose A Feast for Odin. Because that game's been on our shelf of shame for quite, almost a year actually. Yeah, I can't remember. Almost a year. Yeah. Um, and We really wanted to play it with more people, not just me and Ilya. Well, I think it's also like, with those types of games, I'm always intimidated by, because I'm usually the one who has to read the rule book, I have to learn everything and do, so I'm always intimidated to do that because it looks so scary. Uh -huh. But A Feast for Odin was, Incredible. Uh, I can actually see it being one of my favorite games of the more that we play it. I had a really good time with it. It is really good. Um, and one thing I've been telling everybody is it has one of the best rule books I've seen written in a very long time. Uh, just with the, like the natural progression of things, the, the ease of explaining everything and how it connects, but also like little t tips and tidbits on the side as well to be like, you might want to do this if and you're like going for it. it's like character bubbles, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, like, it's, it's, it's very it's fun. Cool. It's very easy to kind of follow along. Uh, had a great experience with it, but cannot wait to play it again. And it's a game I think I would love to. Should include on a 10 by 10 because I would love to play it a 10 times, but we can still do that. Had he known, had, had he known. known. What about you? What's your favorite game? <laughs> oh, uh, hands down, Vivid Memories has been my favorite game this month, I think. No wonder um, we played it five times and I lost each of those five times. Yeah, I think I have a 100% win rate in Vivid Memories. <laughs> I keep saying that Tyler should enter Vivid Memories tournaments because then there's me who gets like 90 points. And then there's him who gets 186. That is my high. That's my high score. It's not my average. Have you got higher Very than different. 186? Very different. All right. Anyways, what is Vivid Memories? Vivid Memories is just this like amazing abstract strategy game that gives you a lot of like Azul vibes. Mm -hmm. Except I'm terrible at Azul, so I, I I was like second guessing this game, and then I started playing, and I was like, wow, the theme is here, the connections are here, the colors are vibrant, everything just was like amazing to me. And then on top of that, the game clicked for me. So I started playing it and I just like fell in love with it almost immediately. We, we got it um, as a Kickstarter uh, earlier this month and opened it, played it once and I looked over immediately and I was like, we're playing this again. And this was after he doubled my score. So I'm like, I guess we have to. Yeah, so um, we played it again and I still love it. So who knows, maybe it'll, uh, maybe it'll stay in the top spot for me. Oh, top 10 of 2022? Wow. Okay, so now, one of the things I fear most is culling our collection. Mm. But, with how fast our collection is growing with so many games out there, it's a natural thing to cull a collection. So, one of the things, that, a segment we want to include is, out of the games that we played, which do we want to cull? Which would we consider culling? Or which did we cull? Yeah. Or, and it's, it's just a way to help me personally. Just putting that into my frame of mind to be like, this is possible to let go mm -hmm. uh, and stop thinking that you need to have all these games and never yeah. let them go. <laughs> and like for reference, I'm a pretty opinionated person when it comes to board games, as in like, if I don't like it that much or can't see us playing it, it needs to get out of the house. And there is nothing that I want to specify that that doesn't necessarily mean the game is bad. 
It just means we have so many games so for us. and we don't need a game that we're not going to get to the table yes. unless somebody else decides that they want to bring it mm -hmm. and play, play with us. So with that said, do, do we have any games that we want to call this month? We called a game this month. Yeah. Um, what did we call? We called Silverwood Grove. Yeah, that was a mutual agreement. Yes. Yeah. Which is a surprise, because I yeah. called a game. I did it! It was just different. I think, it, I don't, I, I can't say anything was wrong with the game, but it was different than I expected from the Kickstarter um, campaign. Mm -hmm. So it just, for uh, for me, was like a, not a disappointment, but more like a, oh, I didn't, I didn't think it was like that. So. Yeah, we played it a couple of times and I think there's other games that we'd rather get to the table. Mm -hmm. That are similar. Um, it just, yeah, to me it felt very like administratively. I didn't connect too much to the game. I was just doing the thing mm -hmm. to do the thing, which I always love, like the theme connection. So having that in the game is something that really elevates the game. And here, like it wasn't super present for me. Yeah, so it's probably a game for somebody, but it was not a game for us to keep in our collection. We call the game. Are there any other games you would consider? No. That was short-lived. <laughs> maybe next month. Maybe if there's one that we'll play. Maybe I'll conveniently buy a game that looks very bad. Just, just so, so we, we can have it. this segment. <laughs> okay, moving on. What is your highlight for the month? Well, I thought you were saying, what am I doing? <laughs> what are you doing? No, no, no. So, what is your, what is your top board game highlight? Board game month? highlight. Okay. It doesn't have to be a game that we played. It could okay. be something that happened with Kavre or anything. So, my highlight for this month would be playing and demoing Skate Summer from yeah, Pandasaurus Games. Fun. It's a new... Um, Kickstarter game. Push your luck skateboarding uh, Tony Hawk. Yes. yes, sports. <laughs> um, I don't skateboard. I got on the skateboard once and fell off immediately and have not since. I don't skateboard. Anyway, um, I really enjoyed the game. We played it with Jeff and Jamie and Abram. Um, and it was such a wonderful time. I think it was like trying to balance the skateboard that you're doing through a push your luck mechanism of like dice rolling. But you're also exploring on the board, collecting these different things. There were so many fun jokes, so many laughs. So many of those high tension moments that it's a game that I just fell in love with. Yeah, it was just a good group of people to be playing with. Yeah. And Danny from Pandasaurus was kind enough to teach us the game yes. and demo it to us. And it was just like... She made the experience perfect because yeah. the board just magically reset up. Everything was <laughs> administratively was no just problems. amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that was mine. What about yours? Um... Yeah, I, we did a podcast mm -hmm. or... Well, not podcast, but a, like live a live show. stream. Yeah. <laughs> with uh, on maple meeple syrup uh which is run by oh my goodness erica bieris bieris and sen Lim, mm -hmm. and they basically just uh had us come in and talk about our experiences as board game uh content creators and we got to chat with them for a little bit uh look back on the year that we had just uh, gone through mm -hmm. and it was just like so nice to just chat with some fellow canadians who are um like on the opposite side of us when it comes to board gaming, because they're both uh, and Canada. Game, yeah, they're both game designers, <laughs> and they're on the East Coast. So yeah, was, yeah, they're they're lovely. lovely people, and I think it really like ignited the spark, um, just for what we do, what we've learned, the experience that we can share, and kind of the growth that we've had. The spark was, was really already fun. there, but the flame burns brighter. Yes. The flame is bigger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So last but not least. What's one game that you really would like to play this this upcoming month? For me, it's very easy. It is Fog of Love oh. because it's been our tradition to play Fog of Love for Valentine's Day, That's where we get to cheap. take a persona and fight. Uh, usually because that's how the game typically goes. Because I like to cause drama when we play that game. And there's got a lot of good stories, got a lot of good role play. Uh, it's a great game as well. So I'm, mm -hmm. and I think there's a lot of new stuff coming out of Floodgate with it. So I'm excited for that as well. Uh, but it's a cute little tradition and I'm excited to play it. So I hope we get to do that this year. I'm sure we will. I'm sure what we about will. you? One game. We haven't played Paladins yet. And You're gonna be boring and choose thirty paladins. days. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna throw that out there. We, it's been thirty days and we have not played paladins. Wait. I. You can say two games. I want to say two games. No. I'm just. That's. What, <laughs> that's all I'm doing. I'm just throwing well, it out there. You know what game we haven't played either? The Gallerist. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it out there. No, I'm not saying any other game. I'm not. I'm saying paladins. 
Oh. Yeah. You just ruined it for everyone. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we'll say another one. I don't want to say another <laughs> one now. It just ruins it. Well, then I guess we're going to transition to the last part of the video. Hadrian's Wall. <laughs> No, okay, let's go, um, let's, uh, let's, uh, call that, call that a recap. Yeah, that was our <laughs> January recap. Let us know what you think. Was there parts that you want us to add? One part that you were just like, this is too boring, we don't want to hear about... Blah, 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 Tyler's blah, blah, blah. Tyler's gloss, blah, 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 blah. You know. <laughs> I don't know. But it was absolutely joy. What games did you play in January? Yes. What was your favorite? Yeah, give us a rundown of your rem or your of your Did you call a game? Month. Yeah, exactly. Did your partner end up winning way more games than you and it's been abnormal and you've been simmering in anger? Yeah. That. <laughs> Seems very uh very targeted. <laughs> but maybe that's you. Who knows? Or tell us what game you want to play in February as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you enjoyed what you saw here today, hit that thumbs up, press that subscribe button, or hit that bell notification, because we try to make videos, we make videos, twice a week now, and we're looking forward to the next upcoming month. I started waving goodbye way too early. Man. Exactly. Until next time, though, <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>